there, I'm Laura Rachel and today I'm going to talk you through a milk bath photo shoot and I'm going to show you how to achieve those beautiful maternity photos using just your phone. So I'm not using any specialist equipment at all. This is just all done on my phone, no professional lighting at all. So I'm gonna talk you through how to achieve these photos. We're gonna discuss how to prepare for the photo shoot because I think preparing is really important to get it just right and to get it looking professional. We're going to discuss lighting, posing and angles. I will show you some behind the scenes of our photo shoot where my husband took photos of me and hopefully you can get some good ideas for your photo. Now you can do this on your own if you connect your phone to a tripod very carefully, but do not hang it over the bath. But I think this is one of those shoots that it's fun to do with someone else and it also just makes it a little bit safer. So first of all, we need to plan for the photo shoot. Personally, I wanted to achieve two looks. The first being quite pure, all white, not a lot of contrast, white water with a white dress, mostly with the nude feel, nothing too bold. The only way I contrasted anything with this was just purely with makeup with heavy lashes. The second look I wanted to go for was a bit more colorful and a bit more contrast. So we do our baby in June, which you know, summer sunflowers. So I want a yellow sunflowers and then to contrast with that, I had a look at the colour wheel and the opposite colour to yellow is purple. So I got some purple fabric, wrapped it around and just climbed in the bath. So we had the contrast of the yellow and purple. So when you're planning your photo shoot, why not have a look at the colour wheel? Pick a complementary colour, so there's two colours next to each other on the colour wheel. Or contrasting, opposite, or just play around, see what colours work best for you. So then of course I did my makeup. Now, I'm not a professional makeup artist by any means, and obviously I couldn't get hold of one right now with the whole coronavirus going on, so I had to do my own makeup. I wanted to go quite heavy with it, which is unusual for me, but I wanted that contrast. I wanted those big lashes. I wanted it to be quite glamorous. So I'm gonna post a link in the comments to a really good makeup tutorial by a friend of mine. It's perfect for this. I did follow this tutorial when I did my makeup, but obviously I just used the colours that I had and the makeup that I had, which is almost run out. The eyelashes did seem quite extreme, but when it was part of the image, yeah, I think it worked. I hope it worked. So when we talk about lighting, this is really down to you. Just the only lighting you really want to avoid is any light that comes up our face. So for example, if you're laying in the bath and the window is at your feet, this is bad lighting. So you just want to spin yourself around so your head is at the other end. In my bathroom, the window is to the side of the bath. This is really nice because you get that contrast of light and shade. However, it was quite a sunny day, so I just shut the blind just enough to soften that light. You can still see there's quite a lot of light and shade going on. You can cover that light a bit more if you want by putting up a sheer curtain or bed sheet just to dim that light a bit but one thing I would avoid is to use artificial lighting. I am a huge fan of using natural window lighting, especially when taking photos on your phone. So before you start, it's really important to make sure you have a nice, clean bath. I know that sounds so obvious, but just give it a quick spray, a quick rinse over, make sure it's nice and clean, so you've got that real nice white look. So this is the first time that I've actually done a milk bath, and I just, had a look on the internet, there was not a lot of information to be perfectly honest, and I just had a go, and I think this is perfectly fine for you to do. So I just filled up a bath, and made it a little bit on the warmer side, because I knew I was leaving it for about 15 minutes. So I just poured four pints of milk into the bath. Um, I think I could have put another four pints in, to be perfectly honest. It was still quite see-through, but it was enough. I just poured the, all the milk that I had in there, but you can use powdered milk, whole milk, almond milk, oat milk. Just pour in anything that's going to give you that creamy look. Once it was all poured in, I gave it a little bit of a mix around and I just left it for about five, 10, 15 minutes. And then I jumped straight in. It was still warm, 
it was comfortable enough to get in, but it was really odd getting into a milk bath wearing clothes. So angles and poses. Now, if you've seen any of my videos before, you'll know I'm always going on and on and on about angles. It is so important not to do up photos and it's really tempting, especially my husband just went straight in and took these photos straight away, standing by my feet, looking up at my nostrils. If you can see nostrils, it's probably the wrong angle. So you can see there's a huge difference between standing near my feet or looking up at my body big thigh, big bum, big belly, whereas if he stood above me or by my head looking down at my body, everything was more in proportion. So you can see these images where he stood nearer my feet, looking up at my body, especially when my head is relaxed, it just is not flattering at all, so avoid this. The other thing to notice is with your head. Now, most of my images, I'm actually lifting my head up quite a lot. And you can see when I've relaxed my head, because it is exhausting doing that, when I've relaxed my head, it's just so unflattering. So it's important to lift your head, just shoulders, just off of the bath slightly. But one thing to note is if you're lifting it forwards quite a lot and they're ahead of you, watch out you don't just have a floating head. So make sure you turn your head slightly just so you can see some of your neck and lifting. You can look down at your bump or straight up at the camera. It's completely up to you. Now with posing, I chose to go side on to really show off the bump, but turn my shoulders towards the camera and lift my head. This was the most flattering for me and my bump. You can also lay on your back, obviously sat up slightly, holding your bump, pushing your head forwards and looking down. This is another really nice flattering angle, but for me, I don't actually look that pregnant looking straight on. I need that side on view. And when you're taking these photos, you can take photos of the whole body, parts of the body, just the bump, or you can stand near their head, looking down at their body, getting just their eyelashes in focus, and it's just beautiful. Play around with angles, play around with poses. Just remember, take it gentle, take it slowly, and keep looking at the photos to make sure they look flattering. Avoid double chins, avoid looking up at the body, stay nice and high or above the body. But overall, it's just a really easy, fun, and a little bit strange photo to try. And I think because it's so on trend at the moment, why not just give it a go? You just fill up the bath with milk, jump straight in, remember those angles, don't look up at the body, keep your head lifted and turn slightly, and just take so many photos and have fun with it. We had such a laugh making these photos and it's just these fun photos that I'll now have and when my son grows up, I can say, hey, look, look what we did when you're in my tummy. Just, I'm gonna be one of those mums, aren't I? And there you go, that is how to take really easy milk bath photos. Now you can use whatever props you want. Some people use fresh flowers, some people use artificial flowers, just make sure that they float because as soon as you put them in, if they start sinking, it won't look as good. Plan your photo shoot and just have fun with it. And I hope you get some beautiful images. If you've liked this video, please like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you want to see next. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing your milk bath photos. You can tag me on Facebook and Instagram or just post a link in the comments and I'll take a look.